Assalamu alaikum. This is Muhammad Bari Ulmanshi, ID number 2011533314. Today, my selected presentation topic is error detection. Before the presentation, at first, I would like to convey my thanks to my honorable co teacher Mrs. Fatima to Johra ma'am for arranging this video session. Okay, no more intro, let's get back to our topic error detection. In error detection, what we will learn today? There have four outcomes. At first, we will learn understand transmission errors, then know the types of errors, then understand error detection and error correction. Finally, we will learn know the various error detection techniques. What is an error? In computer network, definitely data are transmitted in the network. When data are transmitted over the network, we don't know what happens data once the data has left the node, so data can be corrupted during transmission. So that errors that are caused because of this transmission are called as transmission error and the for reliable communication error must be detected and corrected in which layer the error related things are handled actually in voice a reference model there are two layers that deal with error control error detection and correction are implemented either the at the data link layer or the transport layer of OCI model just recollected the OCI reference model and the services offered by each layer in data link layer as well as in the transport layer we have error control as one of the services this layer now let's see what are the two types of error on bit error number two burst error in bit error there are only one bit going to be sensed also known as single bit error in single bit error only one bit in the data unit has been sensed okay let's have an example uh, there you can see sending data receiver data from sending data there you can data you can see data 00000010 here receiving data 0001010 there have an example there on data have sensed In the burst error, two or more bits in the data unit have sensed. As you can see here is the example, sender data, receiver data. You can see here is the difference between sender data and receiver data. They are have sensed more than on bits. That's why that is burst error. Okay, now how to detect this error? how to detect the errors generally error detection done by the receiver error detection means to decide whether the receiver data is correct or not without having a copy of the original message to detect or correct errors we need to send some extra bits with the data the extra bits are called as redundant bits We know that for error detection, we need to send extra bit for error detection, which is redundancy. Here you can see sender data, receiver data. For error detection, we have to 
we have to send additional data for error detection it can be handled two ways on receiver can be can have the sender return as uh, the enter the unit and second the receiver can be using an error correcting code which is automatically correct certain errors error detection and correction we need to send additional data here you can see sender data receiver data error detection techniques for error detection four types of redundancy sex are sex are used in data communication they are number one vertical redundancy check which is vrc number two longitudinal null redundancy check which is lrc third is checksum fourth is cyclic redundancy check which is known as crc